Trust me, the only thing that's going on between me and Victoria is business. I admire her, the way her mind works, her business acumen. Look, I am learning a lot from her. And I won't deny that we work well together. I, I don't understand why we have to go through this again. Right now, I need as much information as possible so that I can make my move. This information is power. And power... power is control. And you like having control? It's every bit as important to me as money, if not more so. Yeah, I know. I know. 
and I would never force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. But I just mean I want him to be proud of me. You know, I want him to be proud that I'm fighting to protect the family legacy. Well, he is going to be proud of the man you are, no matter what. I promise you that. And look, I hate to segue back into business, but are you still considering buying McCall? I came down to see if I could catch Vic. She's still around? I'm not sure. Uh, we finished up a while ago. You know, I don't always know where she is or what she's up to, right? Yeah, hey. I'll call her later. Where are you headed to? It's personal information. I like to keep it that way. But Alina and I had an argument earlier. That's why I decided to come out, you know, have a drink, clear my head. Interesting. When I saw you earlier, you made it seem like you came to meet with Vic to talk about the McCall deal. Yeah, that's how I clear my head these days. Scotch and strategizing about Newman Media. Business is sometimes a good distraction from your personal life, you know? And vice versa. Anyway, I, um... Uh, too tired to face what's waiting for me at home. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I give Elena and me some space and crash here for the night. Well, good luck with that. It'll be fine. Good night. Good night. I told Tucker that I knew about him Offering his company to Newman first. Hmm. And did he have an explanation? He did, yeah. And it made some sense, but the more I think about it, I realize that it doesn't really matter that he went to Newman first because he pulled that offer as long as he's being sincere about what he's offering me. Well, sincerity is always in question when it comes to Tucker. Right. I just, I feel like my reasons for wanting to buy the company are more important than whatever his reasons are for trying to sell it. And what are those reasons? Well, just the safety and argument. You know, in case things don't go well with this lawsuit and getting back Hamilton Winters. Obviously, getting the company back is my priority, but I have to be smart. You know? And I have to consider whether there's a benefit to rebuilding a company with Tucker. Look, I know that I have been the one that was kind of pushing this whole McCall-Tucker thing, but... Honestly, I, I don't know if I can fully trust Tucker. And I would never want you to get burned again. We did riff off each other pretty well when we were talking about our ideas for fixing the company. Okay, well, I guess it's great to be on the same page as the person running the company before you, but yeah. it's not like you would be moving forward, working together. I mean... Well... There's another element to this whole thing. He said that if I were to buy the company, he'd want to come on and take an advisory role and report to me. Wait, so he would want to take a lesser position? How do you feel about that? It's, it's probably a sign that he's being honest about wanting to actually fix things between us because I know he doesn't like to take orders from anybody. Yeah, agreed, that's true. Um, I guess it shows that he's trying to form a connection, but... I mean, that's if we are giving him the benefit of the doubt. Right. And should we? You obviously don't have your ear as low to the ground as I do. Um, I'm actually no longer at your bow. No, I know that. You actually told me you underperformed your way up the door there. It wasn't a good fit. The C-suite press release lingo. Did you also quit to spend more time with family? Of course, that doesn't track because... Your family can't stand you. No, Victoria, Dad, and I, we have our issues. But uh, at the end of the day, we're family. And we always will be. I know you can understand that with everything that's going on with uh, Devon. Yeah, indeed I can. Father-son relationships are uh, huh. complicated. Yeah, that's the thing about Victor and me is we, we understand each other on a cellular level because... We are so much alike. Yeah. You are. You're both miserable, ruthless. See, you, on the other hand, you are nothing like Devon. You know, him being principled, thoughtful, right. 
you know, you really botched that relationship. It sounds like he doesn't want anything to do with you, including acquiring McCall, which means I might actually end up being the CEO of your empire. We should drink to that. Adam? Over my dead body, will you ever have anything to do with my company?
Well, I would tell him and your sister to just move on. Well, your deal with Devon isn't done yet, and there's two things that I know about my family. One, they don't give up, they just walk away. And two, everyone has their price, and the Newmans will pay that price. We'll look at this. You boys love to hear yourselves talk so much, I'm surprised there's any oxygen left in the room. Is this a Newman convention? Just came for some takeout. Not interested at all in whatever this is. Well, Tucker was just throwing down the gauntlet, saying that Newman Enterprises will never get its hands on uh, McCall Unlimited, which kind of sounds like the opening of a negotiation to me. So, you know, what would it take for you to change your mind? Mm. Well, Devon means everything to me. It's you. You mean less than nothing. So, how's that for a negotiation? Thanks for the drink. Well, there you go. You got your answer straight from the man himself. He's never going to let Newman buy him a call. Are you ready to let this go yet? Well, you have a lot to think about. And I love being your sounding board, but I should probably take Dominic and head home. Take Dominic? How are you going to do that? He's asleep. You don't want to wake him up. Well, I guess I could leave him here and come get him in the morning. Uh, I have a better idea. I bet you just don't go home. But I have to get up very early in the morning. Well, then I can wake you up very early in the morning. <laughs> and you just hit one and you don't need to be driving anywhere. Oh, is that what you were thinking when you poured me that glass? No. No, not at all. And I have so much on my mind, you know, I'm going to be a lousy company for myself. I'm not going to get any rest. Are you suggesting that I put you to sleep? Well, that depends on if you think you're up to that. I am always up to that. You are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, 
I still feel terrible if I caused any misunderstanding between the two of you. Like, if there's anything I can there's do There's not. To... I cleared it up with Elena. Oh. Glad. Uh, then what are you doing here now and not at home? I just had a restless night. Then definitely the thing you need is coffee. Why don't you join me? Look, I still have a ton of work to do at home. That's why I'm here to fuel up. Okay, no worries. See you tomorrow. Did you see Victoria this evening? Why do you ask? Hello, son. Sit down. Now, you made it sound urgent on the phone. Yeah, well, I wanted to talk to you before morning. I, um, ran into Tucker tonight, and he seemed awfully determined to make a deal with Devon. Well, what Tucker wants and what he thinks Devon will do, you know, are two different things, okay? Victoria tells me that she had a conversation with Devon, who informed her that he wanted nothing to do with his father. Okay, well then, maybe something has changed. I mean, Tucker seemed pretty confident, pretty adamant that he could get Devon to make him an offer. Listen, Tucker McCall has always been full of confidence. He's been full of bull. I just, I, I think McCall is going to be an uphill battle, but I, I don't want to let it go, okay? I've gotten pretty excited about this idea. So am I. I want it for you. And I want it for the family. I'm not sure it's going to be one big happy family as you're envisioning, but... I'll work that out. You're going to work out Victoria's lifelong animosity towards me? We'll take things step by step. And the first step is to acquire my call unlimited. Okay, well the key to our success there is Devon. We need to make sure that he is not interested. His Tucker made it clear that he plans to sell to him and that is his endgame. Leave it up to me. if you meet with him. You know, he seems to admire you. I respect him as well, so I'll see what I can do, all right? Okay. Maybe go meet with him tomorrow morning, yeah? To help with that. I'll meet him tonight. Now, I'm sort of feeling that the tide is turning. In my favor. I see you sort of coming back into the family. Only under the conditions that you promised. This is not a warm and fuzzy reunion. It's a totally selfish move. You don't think I know that? I was curious where things stood with the McCall acquisition. I know Victoria had some further thoughts on him and coming in with a strong offer. Yeah, I uh, saw her and we talked about it. Tell me. I guess I can spare a few minutes since we're talking shop. And I always love having the bosses here. Well, Victoria had a conversation with Tucker, and she tried to convince him that Newman was the right place to sell his company. Was she successful? Not sure. Listen, I still think you can be instrumental in this deal. Why not give it a shot by talking to Devon? I don't think that'd ever work. And frankly, I don't want to even try. Still too much anger and hurt feelings there. I want to bridge that gap eventually, but that isn't the way. If I try to mix business with personal problems, it's only going to make things much worse. I need to make peace with Devon slowly and carefully. I know Victoria wanted you to make inroads with Devon as well, so she'll be disappointed. But I'm sure you can smooth that over. I already let her know where I stand on that. A woman like Victoria can be hard to say no to, but... I've noticed you hold your own with strong women. Victoria will get over it. Ultimately, you know, she'll admire you for wanting to mend fences with your family. The same way I do. I don't know if it ever works, but... Thanks for the talk. Guess I needed to decompress more than I thought. Well, I should get going. Yeah, uh, try and 
Get some rest. I am sure Elena's probably waiting up for you. Oh, well, um... Working late, I see. I would have helped you. 
You're a transactional woman. I would have offered you something that you wanted in return. What could you possibly offer that would interest me? So you know that I'm trying to get back control of Hamilton Winters. Oh. I've heard, and to be honest with you, I am rather saddened by the fact that there's conflict between you and Billy. I mean, I admire and respect both of you. Sad that it's come to this. Yeah, I'm sad that it's come to it too, but Lily and Jill have given me no choice, and I'm being forced to do this to protect the legacy of Neil. I understand the idea of protecting a legacy. I know you do. But why try to do that whilst attempting to get a hold of McCall Unlimited? Because it would be a safety net for me in case this lawsuit doesn't go the way I want it to. Devon, let me tell you something. Don't do man with a lot of experience of business. Safety nets are no good. You know why? You never fight to the very end to get what you want. I would agree with you in most cases, but this is a very different situation because I'm about to go up against Lily and Jill and the whole Chancellor Winner's legal team. The only thing I could propose is that if you were able to convince Jill and Lily to let me keep my company, I might be willing to forget about McCall altogether. Let me see what I can do, all right? Sure. Dad, uh, what are you doing here? I'm glad we had this conversation, Devon. Yeah. Things have become very clear to me. So I'll see you soon, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Watch it out. Thank you. Awkward. Not the way I wanted my dad to find out about our relationship. Relationship? Okay, you know what I mean. I just, I didn't want him to find out about us, whatever this is, by me walking downstairs wearing your shirt. I'm sure he was shocked by it, but we're not doing anything wrong. I'm not hurting anybody. Even chance of divorce. And my dad always wants me to be happy. Well, that makes two of us. If I haven't told you lately how happy you make me, you need to know that. I never want to lose you. Why are you so defensive? Because you're putting me in that position. You keep insinuating something is going on with Victoria, and I'm trying to reassure you that is not the case. I can see that, and the more you try to reassure me, the more worried I get. Oh, I can't win. I can't win. Well, I can't either, Nate. I hate feeling like this. I don't want doubts creeping in my mind about our relationship. But I also tend to trust my instincts. And right now they're driving me crazy because I suspect something that you swear isn't happening. Nate, I really want to believe you and I really hope you're not gaslighting I'm me. I'm not. I am committed to this relationship. That's an interesting way to put it. You make it sound like it's an obligation. Please stop. You know what? We're not getting anywhere tonight. Let's just talk about this in the morning. Nate. You are not an obligation. I am deeply committed and in love with you. <laughs> 